A six-year-old child who isn't able to speak was repeatedly strapped into these chairs at school. Now it's costing that district tens of thousands of dollars. The Burke County School District reached an $80,000 settlement with that girl's family, but they say it was not about the money. Their case is now leading to changes for other students in the district. Channel 9's Dave Faraday joins us live from Morganton, where he talked to the child's mother, Dave. Erica, I could see that mother clinging to her daughter as the settlement was announced in the courtroom earlier today. She told me afterwards no amount of money will make up for what happened here at her school south of Morganton. Attorneys say the six-year-old was strapped into this chair at North Liberty School in Morganton on several occasions during the 2016 school year. Larry Servant explained to the judge how those actions caused mental health issues for the little girl who we are not identifying. She is nonverbal and suffers from a severe disability called Angelman syndrome. He believes the chair was being used in a way to make the teacher's job easier. The chairs were being used for um, a timeout or for punishment as opposed to how they should have been used, which was just to um, have the children in there as an activity. A public records request shows the district suspended the assistant teacher with pay for three months, but she was reinstated after they say their investigation found no evidence of misconduct or negligence. But the family filed a lawsuit, and the settlement announced today in court was for $80,000. The mother told us afterwards, this was never about money. No amount of money will ever replace what they did to her. Her attorney told us the chair is no longer being used in the school. We went to the campus of both Liberty and North Liberty schools today, where parents say the teachers do put the children first. They've always been caring. Um, they seem super, you know, genuinely concerned about the students. And the school district admitted no wrongdoing in this settlement. I did try to talk with their attorney after the court hearing. He told me, Erica, no comment. Back to you. Okay, but good thing some changes for the other kids there and moving forward. Thank you, Dave.